Speaker Woods remains in the hospital, recovering from surgery following yesterday's devastating crash in California. The golf great, who only recently was getting over his fifth back operation, suffered significant injuries to his right leg. Tiger Woods is not new to us. And if you're a true golf lover, then you would know that he went through a near fatal car crash. But it's no longer a mystery. What really happened and how did he end up in such a mess? Well, golf legend Tiger Woods experienced critical leg wounds in a terrible accident on February 23, 2021. It happened outside Los Angeles and it quickly required medical emergency personnel to be on the scene. After people on call pulled him from his destroyed vehicle with a pry bar and a hatchet. It was a horrible and scary situation as not too long ago, Woods, who was 46 years of age, had come out on top to win his 15th title at the Masters and is viewed by a lot of people to be the best golf player of all time. He won the 2019 Masters in the wake of going winless in majors for more than 10 years, solidifying a rebound that many considered improbable following a history of physical injuries and self-inflicted personal tragedy. To learn more, let's explore the secrets of Tiger's near-fatal car crash. What led to the car accident? The Los Angeles County Sheriff said Tiger Woods was driving faster than 80 miles per hour in a 45 mile per hour zone early in the morning of February 23rd, with a car crash leaving him seriously injured and fighting for his life. Investigators shared their findings of the crash at a news conference, yet left out parts of what occurred in the accident unanswered. The driver was driving the vehicle at a high speed that was risky for the street conditions and a failure to account for the curves in the road, Lomita Station Commander James Powers said. Woods gave an assertion after the report's delivery, I am so thankful to both of the great Samaritans who came to help me and called 911. I'm likewise grateful to the LA Sheriff's Department appointees and LA firemen and paramedics, particularly LA Sheriff's Deputy Carlos Gonzalez and LAFD Engine Company number 106 fire paramedics Smith and Jimenez for aiding me so skillfully at the scene and getting me securely to the clinic. Woods was driving down a surprising slope on a road where police said accidents are common. The vehicle skidded several hundred feet showing that the vehicle was traveling quicker than expected. It then hit the median and then a tree before flipping over numerous times, before coming to rest in a bush. Specialists said that wearing a safety belt would have saved Woods' life. Sheriff Alex Villanueva from the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Office said after the mishap that there was no quick indication of weakness. What were his injuries? Um, I wouldn't say 50-50, but it was near there, but I'm not, I was, was going to walk out of that. Tiger speaks about the crash in this video. Woods went through a long surgery on his lower right leg and lower leg in the wake of being brought to the medical clinic, as per the assertion. The clinic's main clinical official, Dr. Anish Mahajan, said he endured huge muscular wounds. Woods experienced comminuted open cracks influencing both the upper and lower parts of the tibia and fibula bones in the leg, which was fixed with a pole embedded into the tibia, Dr. Mahajan said in the press conference. Screws and pins were embedded to balance out Woods' foot and lower leg. Furthermore, injury to the muscle and delicate tissue required a careful placement of the muscle's covering because of tension. Comminuted fractures occur in various spots rather than those that break into only two pieces. The exact extent and seriousness of his wounds aren't readily known, but it's conceivable, while possibly not likely, in light of the impact of the accident, that different wounds weren't highlighted in the explanation and didn't need a quick medical procedure. Woods was in fact recuperating from a medical procedure on his back, his fifth in as many years when the accident occurred. What kind of car was he driving? Woods was driving a Hyundai Genesis GV80, a luxury SUV. It gave off an impression of being set apart as one of the courtesy vehicles from the tournament where he was headed 
at the time of the accident. Did this affect his golf career? Indeed, even the most optimistic timetable for Woods to return on course playing competitive golf would be several months, if not more. Woods hasn't played in that frame of mind since December, after saying he went through a procedure on his back, a part of his body which has tormented him during the last years of his career. Speaking at the Genesis Invitational, a nearby competition he worked at throughout the end of the week, he said he trusted he would have the opportunity to return to competitive golf in time for the Masters in April. Yet all the while, he was going through the normal phases of recovery for previous surgery. It isn't yet known what the accident might have meant for his back. Woods had recently recuperated from a serious injury to arrive at the highest point of his game. In 2008, he recuperated from a knee procedure to win the U.S. Open, just to require another knee procedure again, due to the incredible torque his knee was subjected to, which unfortunately kept him out of shape to compete. Then, following 10 years of wounds and individual contention, including two vehicular episodes, he brought home the 2018 Tour Championship and the 2019 Masters. Why wasn't Tiger Woods charged? The authorities said that the golf player had not been given any special treatment and that he was not cited for speeding since there were no observers or police present at that point. Tiger Woods was lucky enough not to deal with any criminal penalties. The accident would have been investigated further if there was any critical physical issue or casualty, and had there been others who had been affected, said Powers. Woods won't have to deal with criminal penalties as the accident was researched further, and there were no major physical issues or loss of life, so it was clear that the entire accident did not involve another person. Drugs in his system. It's not the first time the golf star has had to be helped out of a car. Back in 2017, Tiger was found asleep in his car at the wheel, while the Mercedes engine was still running. The car was stopped in the right lane and partially in the bike lane. Woods, who allegedly was seen driving extremely slow and had slurred speech, stated that he didn't know where he was. According to the police report, Woods had changed his story of where he was going and where he was coming from. Woods asked how far from his house was he? As the police came to the car, they began to actively record the scene where Woods got arrested. He could not pass any of the physical tests assigned by the police, and it was pretty clear that he was under the influence. Woods had two sleep drugs, two painkillers, and the active ingredient for marijuana in his system when he was arrested. Tiger Woods said in a statement that he had been trying to treat his back pain, which forced him out of competition in the summer of 2015 along with insomnia on his own. I realize now it was a mistake to do this without medical assistance, he said. I am continuing to work with my doctors and they feel I've made significant progress. Tiger Woods pleaded guilty to reckless driving and agreed to enter a diversion program five months after he was found passed out in his Mercedes in Florida. At court, the judge warned him to stay out of trouble. This particular plea agreement has no jail time on it. However, if you violate your probation in any significant way, I could revoke your probation and then I could sentence you to jail for 90 days with a fine of up to $500. Is that understood? Woods nodded. He did not make any statement during the hearing or outside the courthouse. Luckily, no one was hurt and Tiger is still to this day playing in the top of the rankings. It seems like nothing can stop this amazing golf player from hitting the links. Tiger Woods survived a near-fatal car accident, probably his second chance at life. So what do you have to say about this incident and his DUI? Jot down in the comments section. Now that the unsolved mystery is solved and everyone sort of knows about the incident, be sure to check out this video. Most fans don't know this about Tiger Woods.